Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for iTheme, themes for iPhone and iPod Touch by Ayogo. This application is in the lifestyle category, works best on the iPhone or iPod Touch and currently sells for only 99 cents. The new mega updated version, iTheme 3.0 features over 150 unique themes for both your home and lock screen as well as a super cool new theme editor which allows for further customization. I currently have it pulled up to the popular which is the top 25 themes and these are based on user ratings. This application does need connectivity to work so be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the smoky neon skull looks rather cool and what we're gonna do here is on the left I'm gonna show you a bunch of different ways you can customize this and how the application works on the left is your lock screen on the right is your home screen on the top you can favorite this by tapping on the star and it goes into a personal folder called favorites tap OK now if you wanna see how this lock screen home screen preview tap there on the eyeball and it adds the graphics of your apps on the home screen as well as the graphics on the lock screen that are traditional to the iPhone. Tap off of there and you can get rid of them. Also, if you want to go to the next theme in the top 25, you can also use the arrows or you can go backwards to a theme. Let's stick with this one. I'm going to save it by tapping on the large green button. You can either save lock screen, home screen, or both. I'm going to save both. And what it does is it adds it to your photo gallery. After it's added, you can go into your photo gallery and you can tap on the images and you can save them as your home and lock screen. You can also go into your settings and do that under the wallpaper selection. On the bottom left, we can rate this theme very easy. You can see it's one to five stars. I'm going to give this a four star. Tap OK, and I've rated the application. You can only rate it once. Bottom right, I'm going to tap on Edit. Now you can start off with your home or lock screen. I'm going to start off with the lock screen. This is where the real update of iTheme 3.0 takes effect. It gives you the chance to add and change out any of the themes included in the application. And there are new themes being added all the time. So I can make this more of a skull and I can put it like that. And I can tap on next here. And it's got kind of a nice smoky feature here. You can color it however you like based on the slider. I'm going to leave it blue actually. Let's go with red. And you tap on next here, and this is where you can really change the top graphics as well as the overlay. Swipe here, and you can pull in bubbles and calendars and whatnot if you want to. It's totally up to you, or you can leave it blank like it was when we first started. But you have the option of doing that. You can do the little wall. I like the flames. The flames look kind of cool. And then up here you also have a top and bottom effect that you can add. So there's quite a, bun a, quite a few different combinations that will allow you to further customize all of the themes. I'm going to stick with that and tap on done. Once I'm done, the screen's been saved and I'm going to tap here OK. It's going to start with the home screen and it gives you the same opportunity to change the shelves uh, you can do a few other things. I'm going to leave that there. Just leave it the way it is. And we'll go into the color and we'll try to match the red or scarlet or violet, whatever it looks like. And we can add some shelves. And you can have, you have shelves, frames, and effects. And again, you can preview these by adding the apps there very easily. Tap off of there. And we can go through here until we find the shelves. Maybe we just want some translucent shelves. What we got for frames? Frames, frames, frames. And again, if I want to preview, I can tap them in there to see what it looks like. And we'll stick with the translucent and then go here. And I think I know which effect I want. There it is. Let's preview it. That looks pretty slick. Once you're done, you can tap on done here on the bottom right. And it saves it to another personal folder, which is called My Designs. Tap there. It's also been saved to my photo gallery or my camera roll. And you can see all of the designs that I've created so far. They're all here. I'm going to go ahead and head back there. And I'm in my personal folder because that's where I saved it. But that is the top 25. We can go to the newest themes here. And there again, there are themes being added all the time. And you just tap on one. You can see Love Island. And you can scroll through here and do all the same functionality I just showed you with the theme editor on any of these. Tap here to all and you're going to have access to over the 150 themes included in the application. And it's in alphabetical order so you can see there are quite a few 
themes in this app. So a little bit for everyone. Tap on personal, you can see my favorites. And I've saved quite a few, the smoky neon skull. Head back here and I also have my designs. And I can scroll through here. Now, I'm gonna head out of the application just for a moment. We're gonna go into the photo gallery and we're gonna scroll down here to what I saved. We'll tap there for the skull. Tap on the bottom right here with the arrow coming out of the box. I'm going to use this as a wallpaper. Move to scale if I want. I'm going to set. I'm only going to set it as my lock screen. And then I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to set my home screen now. Same way. Just use as wallpaper. And we'll set it. And it's going to be my home screen. And we'll cancel out of there. Cancel. Head back to the photo screen. We're going to close out of there. And you can see right there that it's already been there. We can also lock this and then we'll open it back up and see that that is in fact there and it has worked perfectly. Now over here in the more section you can see a more about Iogo. The instructions here are very beneficial. You can read through here and I believe this is where they're going to give you important minimum system requirements. Again, you're going to have to buy the app to get this so if you're not sure go to the iTunes description and check it out before purchasing the application. That's it for this iPhone app demo. Until next time, this is Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's app saying see ya.